The Breaker class release event is so close. It's about a month away. We're getting a Juice Power Pass, Juiced event. It's gonna be sick. And just like every other class event, it's time to start prepping. If you haven't done so already, I'm gonna take you through some of the best ways you can start prepping if you haven't already for your new class, but you can also prepare to possibly make some serious gold. So let's go ahead and get into it. So as far as the raw honing materials that you'll want to collect that you can give to this new character that you're gonna make, we're talking about the reds, the blues, the leap stones, shard bags that you can trade to that character. The best activities that you can do for that are chaos dungeons because you get the reds and the blues that you can then trade onto your roster, or to your roster storage, and have waiting for that character. Same thing with guardian raids, you get tradable leap stones as well as the reds and blues. Now you also get a lot of materials from doing your challenge guardian raids and your challenge abyssal dungeons now from the challenge abyssal dungeons you will get things like powdered sage which will help you with your tripods you'll also get honor shard bags that you can put into your roster storage and just have waiting there for that new character as well as chests to get free stones and free accessories if you want to try to make as much gold as possible on this new class release for breaker if you're making a breaker go ahead and start saving these accessory chests because when you open them they have a chance to roll the class engraving of the character that you're on so you might get an insane insane piece that's worth a ton of gold i actually did this when slayer released and soul eater i sold a 150,000 gold piece on slayer release and i sold a 200,000 gold soul eater necklace the exact same way by just saving these chests so go ahead and start saving those and then you can open them when you make breaker whales are gonna whale so you might as well take advantage of it and in those first couple of days or that first week those accessories are sky high another place to get some more materials that you can save is of course the event shop you can buy these out and put them in your roster storage and then just hang on to them there and wait for your new character and then you can use them on them and same thing with the golden frog event shop if you haven't watched a video of me going over the golden event shop go ahead go watch it right after this video so you know what to buy out if it's worth it all that good stuff but you can do this and also buy extra materials in here if you'd like as well okay so there's two other places that you can buy bats from you can also go to the shop and start pre-buying these materials if you know you're gonna need them ahead of time and just stock them in your product inventory that way whenever the character event arrives in March you are ready to go and you can just deposit all of those materials onto that character also I wanted to mention the bonus room real quick I did a video about this as well so you go check that one out too but a lot of these are worth purchasing if you're looking for a very good deal for spending gold on not real money this isn't the real money deals okay these are for the blue crystals that you can just transfer using gold and we can't forget about the tower guys if you have not done the tier 3 tower yet one time then you can go ahead and go through this and you will get boxes for your rewards that you can put in your roster storage and then when the event arrives in March put them on there and then you can also get on that new character once they're a little bit higher eye level and go through the tier three tower on them and get even more mats as you can see all of the mats here that you can get okay so that's another way that you can get a ton more mats for that character and with how many pirate coin boxes they've been giving us in these events lately you can come over here and buy some of these materials as well I wouldn't necessarily advise you to buy the big boy reds and blues, but getting up to 1580, these are definitely still worth it and not too expensive because of the amount of these pirate coins that they've been giving us. And of course, the amount of the pirate token boxes that you can turn them into Procyon's coins or Gianna's coins and then transfer those to the pirate coins you get a ton i just haven't really been doing it lately so i don't have much and let's not forget about the south burn chaos line vendor you can definitely get some shards from here but i don't think that the rest of this is really worth it too much except for the focus rune some more shards here 
and uh, some solars and maybe some card XP. But uh, yeah, this is also an available shop. If you haven't bought anything in here, then you can definitely utilize that shop as well. And my last tidbit of advice on pure materials gained here is that if you are making a character, or you're planning on making a character that is not a breaker, you can go ahead and make that character now. They can go ahead and acquire these materials onto them before this event expires on the 20th, which I'm pretty sure Breaker and the Breaker event are going to be released on the 20th. That would make most sense, I think, with all of these expiration dates on the 20th. So uh, you could probably expect that. I don't know for sure, so don't quote me. And of course, you can use these big boy rewards as well. Now, moving on to the other things besides just raw materials that you are going to need, guys, because the event will likely not give you enough of them, is honing books. Okay, you get basically for free, if you're doing Braille each week, honing books, and I haven't even bought these, and you can get buy these each and every week, okay? These are weekly roster limit books here. Same thing if you're doing a con, then you can buy these these little relic boys, the little boys here, you can buy these as well. You can't buy the upper relics quite yet. Also, aside from that, make sure that in this event shop, you are buying out these chests specifically because you can open them for those ancient level honing, the upper relic, and also the Akon gear books as well. Okay, these are clutch clutch chest make sure you're getting these each and every week even if you're not able to get every single thing from the event shop make sure you're getting these and the materials that's what i would say to really really aim for each week if you're thinking about saving some of these things in preparation for the upcoming character creation event now you will also get plenty of level four tripod amulets not just through the event but you also have a lot of them right Right here too you got some shards as well and some great honor leaf stones which you probably won't need but you also have the hope amulets here you have more hope amulets here on this page and you have a i believe a wishful amulet yep on this Akon page and you also have a wishful amulet on the Kyangel page as well so you can get some easy tripods there but aside from that Guys, again, if you're making a character that isn't a breaker, you can go to this birthday event and use these level five tripods that you can get from completing chaos dungeons and some more from completing the guardian raids. Plus from the second birthday event, we also got five more here, which I believe these expire in April. I haven't opened them, but one of my guildies told me that they expire in April. So these are also safe to save for that event and that right there gives you five just alone here you're gonna get some through the event and again if you're making a character that's not a breaker you will probably have level five tripods on all of your necessary tripods by the time you're even able to play that character fully and when that event arrives and my last super big tip guys is doing extreme vault in each week gives you materials in a box that you can then Put into your roster storage and store it for that new character and this box is fat whether you're doing normal or hard they are both very good so you can actually save these and save three of them for each time you're going to do that vault and event now if you're scared to try to do this event guys or if you're not really prioritizing it go do it make it happen i promise it is worth and you'll likely have a lot of fun doing it now of course it's not for everyone but my advice would be to go and at least try it i had an absolute blast doing it on normal and on hard and the rewards are pretty sick so that is another great option in preparation for the breaker release next month and the last bit of advice that i have for you guys is that getting to 1580 with this event is gonna take you about 80 to 120k gold or so that i've seen of course if you buy materials then it's going to cost a lot more right but that's why you got to start prepping now so if you are down bad on gold and i know a lot of you are especially on this stage of the game then maybe consider 
not honing the alts that maybe you don't care about so much right now and save some of that gold because honing costs a lot of gold above 1540 guys it just takes a lot of gold and a lot of resources so consider just putting it on the, the back burner just a little bit saving some for this upcoming character just a passing word but guys let me know down in the comments what character are you making i am making a war dancer she's already made she's juice she's level five tripoded out of her mind she's ready to rock but i'm also making a breaker on my alternate account and we're going to be doing it on stream so make sure if you're not following me on twitch yet go down to the description below click on that link and go follow me right now man i stream every sunday and that is everything for this guide if you have any other really good tips for prepping for the launch let me know down in the comments below. It's going to help some other people out as well. So don't be shy. Go ahead, post down in the comments below. If you got anything out of this video or if you just like lost our content in general, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to see you around here more often with that beautiful face. Sheesh. That is everything for this video, guys. I will see you on the next one. I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.